Let's find the integral and the radius of convergence for the given series. Remember that if I can write this as something to the k, then the easiest way to proceed is to use the root test. And that's what we have here, something raised to the k. And for the root test, we want the limit, as k goes to infinity, of the absolute value of a k raised to the 1 over k. And in this case, that is limit, as k goes to infinity, of the absolute value of x over 21 to the k to the 1 over k. And the k's and the 1 over k's cancel, giving us limit as k goes to infinity of x over 21 in absolute value. Well, since there's no k's at all here, that limit is just absolute value of x over 21. And I can just put it the absolute value on the x because 21 is positive. So this is our final result for the limit. Remember what we need now is we need that limit to be less than 1. If that limit is less than 1, the series converges. If it's bigger than 1, the series diverges. That's the same thing as saying absolute value of x is less than 21. And then just like some of our previous thinking, this is like saying 21 is negative 21 is less than x is less than 21. So that the radius of convergence is 21. But we still need to check the endpoints to come up with the interval of convergence. So if x is 21, the right-hand endpoint, then this series becomes sum of 21 over 21 to the k, which is sum of 1 to the k, which is 1 plus 1 plus 1 forever, which diverges. If x is negative 21, then it's negative 21 over 21 to the k, which is negative 1 to the k, which is negative 1 plus 1, negative 1 plus negative 1, and so on and so on and so on, which also diverges because it does not converge down to a single, single value. So the radius is 21, neither of the endpoints converge, so the interval of convergence is negative 21 to 21.